Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss microprocessors part 3. Microprocessors part 3 for BSNL JE. SIM. SIM is nothing but set interrupt mask. SIM. Set interrupt mask. SIM is an instruction that is SIM instruction is used for serial output data operation as well as to mask or unmask direct maskable vectored interrupts direct maskable vectored interrupts sim instruction is used for serial output data operation as well as to mask or unmask direct maskable vectored interrupts next one rim rim is nothing but read interrupt mask read interrupt mask it is also known as pending interrupt it is also known as pending interrupt it is used to sense the pending interrupts okay it is also known as rim is also known as pending interrupt it is used to sense the pending interrupts this rim instruction is used for serial input data operation sim is sim is instruction it is used for serial output data operation in case of rim it is instruction used for serial input data operation input data operation as well as to read the status of different uh, to read the status of different maskable vectored interrupts different maskable vectored interrupts okay it is used to sense the pending interrupts okay sim is instruction used for serial data serial output data operation as well as to mask or unmask direct to maskable vector interrupts in case of rim rim instruction is used for serial input data operation as well as to read the status of different maskable vector interrupts okay and io devices uh, memory mapping memory mapping input output devices can be connected microprocessor in two different techniques input output technique uh, input output devices can be connected to microprocessor in two different techniques that is a memory mapped io technique io mapped or peripheral mapped io technique okay that is here input output uh, input device and output devices uh, can be connected to the microprocessor in two different techniques it is input output device connect, uh, connecting techniques these are uh, memory mapped io and io mapped io mapped io techniques that is uh, first of all uh, memory mapped io technique in memory mapped input output technique the io uh, io means here uh, input output devices the input output devices are also treated as memory locations memory locations under that assumption they will be given 16 bit addresses in memory map io the io devices are also treated as memory locations under the assumption they will be given 16 bit addresses in memory map io microprocessor uses memory related instructions to communicate with the io devices in memory map io as name itself memory map io microprocessor uses memory related memory related instructions to accumulate the or to communicate with the input output devices okay in memory map io memory read and memory write control signals are used to activate input output devices in memory map io memory read and memory write control signals are used to activate input output devices and in memory map io the entire memory map is shared by memory locations and input output devices in memory map io the entire memory map is shared by memory locations and input output devices one address can be used only once in case of memory map io one address can be used only once this technique is used in a system where the number of input output devices are very less this point is very very important this point is very very important 
this memory map IO technique is used in a system where the number of input output devices are very less. In case of IO map IO technique, the technique is used in a system where the number of input output devices are very high. Okay. Here in uh, memory map IO, the IO it is used uh, this technique is used in a system where the number of input output devices are very less. The maximum number of input output devices that can be up that can be connected to microprocessor in this technique are uh, 65,536. 65,536 IO devices that can be connected to the microprocessor in this technique. And I the second technique is IO mapped IO technique. IO mapped IO technique. Okay. IO mapped IO technique. In this technique, the input output devices are identified identified by the microprocessor with a separate 8-bit port address. With a separate 8-bit address. Very, very important line is it is very, very important uh, for uh, competitive exams. In this uh, IO mapped IO technique, the IO devices are identified by the microprocessor with a separate 8-bit port address. Separate 8-bit port address. And the te this technique uses separate control signals separate control signal that is the input output read or input output write IOR and IO, IOW okay here the active bar means active low signals active low signals are used to activate input output devices and separate the instructions uh, separate the instructions that are uh, separate instructions to communicate with the IO devices separate instructions are here nothing but in and out in and out Okay, in this IO mapped IO technique, it uh, separate control signals that is uh, IOR and IOW active low signals to activate input output devices and separate instructions to communicate with the IO devices. Okay, separate instructions are in and out. In this technique, IO map uh, input output mapping is independent of memory mapping. It is independent of memory mapping but uh, memory IO is ba based on memory here me independent of memory mapping same address can be used to identify input device and output device here same address can be used to identify input device and output device this technique is used in a system where number of IO devices are more where number of IO devices are more but in case of this uh, memory mapped IO it is the uh, technique used for system used in a system uh, where the number of IO devices are very less. Here, number of I IO devices are very high or more. By using this method, a maximum of 256 input devices and 256 output devices can be connected to the processor. In this uh, method, a maximum of 256 input devices and 256 output devices can be connected to the processor that means total 5 to all IO devices interfacing interfacing designing hardware circuit designing of hardware circuit and writing software instructions to enable the microprocessor to communicate with the peripheral devices is called interfacing designing hardware circuit and writing software instructions to enable the microprocessor to communicate with the peripheral devices is called interfacing and the hardware circuit is called interfacing device this hardware circuit interfacing hardware circuit is called interfacing device there are two basic types of interfacing devices are available there are two basic types of interfacing devices are available first one non programmable interfacing devices second one programmable interfacing devices non programmable interfacing devices first of all once microprocessor based system is designed it is not possible to program of this type of devices okay once microprocessor based system is designed uh, once microprocessor based system is designed it is not possible to program it is not pass one it is not possible it is once uh, microprocessor is designed it is not possible to change the program okay here the examples are 8212 it is a non programmable IO port okay and some examples are 74LS245 
74LS373 and programmable interfacing devices programmable interfacing devices there are many programmable interfacing devices some uh, important ones are 8155 8155 it is a programmable peripheral interfacing programmable peripheral interfacing ppi this uh, ppi device with the 256 bytes 256 bytes ram and 16 bit timer or counter 16 bit timer or counter 8155 is a programmable peripheral interfacing device with 256 bytes ram and 16 bit timer or counter and 8255 it is also called as a programmable interface adapter pia programmable interface adapter it consists of 38 bit ports 8255 consists of 38 bit ports okay and third interfacing device 8253 8253 8253 is programmable interval timer it is a programmable interval timer 8253 is a programmable interval timer it can work in six different modes it can work in six different modes first mode mode 0 mode 0 in this mode 0 it work as a interrupt on terminal count interrupt on terminal count more in case of mode 1 programmable one shot mode 1 programmable one shot in case of mode 2 it works as a rate generator in case of mode 3 it works as a square wave generator in case of mode 4 it is a software triggered strobe software triggered strobe mode 5 hardware triggered strobe mode 5 hardware triggered strobe and next to next interface device is 8251 very very important 8251 it is a programmable communication interfacing devices it is a programmable communication interfacing device 8251 it is very very important 8251 is nothing but programmable communication interfacing device it is also called as usart it is also called as usart usart means universal sync universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter universal synchronous asynchronous receiver and transmitter okay this is the 8251 it is a communication interface and coming to 8257 8257 it is programmable dma controller dma is nothing but direct memory access 8257 is programmable dma controller uh, DMA controller DMA transfer is an input output technique used commonly for high speed data transfer that is DMA transfer is nothing but high speed data transfer the 8257 is a four channel DMA controller 8257 is a four channel DMA controller and next one 8259 8259 this is a programmable interrupt controller 8259 is programmable interrupt controller that is pic it is equivalent to providing 8 intr pins on my 8085 microprocessor it is equivalent to providing 8 intr pins on 8085 microprocessor by using 98259 ic's by using 9 9 number of 8259 ICs it is possible to connect a maximum of 64 input output devices to the microprocessor with interrupt driven data transfer mode with interrupt driven data transfer mode by using 98259 ICs it is possible to connect a maximum of 64 input output devices to the microprocessor with interrupt driven data transfer mode okay and next interfacing devices are 8272 8272 is a programmable floppy disk controller 8272 is a programmable floppy disk controller and 8275 8275 interface interfacing device 827 is programmable crt controller crt is nothing but cathode ray tube that is visual controller 8275 programmable crt controller and the last one is 8279 82 7979 it is a interfacing device it is a programmable 
keyboard and display interfacing device a279 is programmable keyboard and display interfacing device by using this it is possible to connect 16 uh, 7 segment displays and 64 keys to the microprocessor okay friends thank you all the best